The great man theory was not necessarily based on research but more on opinions and personal perspectives of the times. In the 1840s, Thomas Carlyle, a writer from Scotland, introduced the concept that leaders were born and not made, a concept that developed into theory and followed in principle into the 20th century. The hypothesis of the great man theory is that leaders are not made, trained, or developed, hence the saying, a born leader. Reinforcing the great man theory was an 1869 study by Galton that claimed certain attributes of leaders are genetically passed on from one generation to another. The great man theory, in essence, was an assumption that only certain individuals possessed required characteristic and traits that would empower them to be leaders. The great man theory maintained prominence through the 1940s in part due to its exclusion of women from leadership roles. The great man theory and trait theorist believed that individuals were born with certain leadership traits and that these traits could not be learned nor gained through education or training. The 1930s and 1940s brought a modified viewpoint of trait theory. Individual attributes were the focus of the trait approach to leadership, which suggested that there were distinctive characteristics and personality traits that made up an individual's ability to be a leader. A significant difference with the new views of trait theory was that it presented the concept that individuals could be either be born or made if they could learn the traits to be a good leader. Stogdill's 1948 study identified alertness, insight, responsibility, initiative, persistence, self-confidence, and sociability as some of the dominant leadership traits. Stogdill produced another study in 1974 in which achievement, tolerance, influence, and cooperativeness were added as additional traits. Further studies added masculinity, dominance, drive, motivation, confidence, cognitive ability and task knowledge to a list of leadership traits. One of the primary focuses of trait theorists was on ascertaining the specific traits of leaders. Trait theory established core concepts for leadership research, however, it did not consider the leader-follower aspect and the interactions between leaders and followers.